Hello everybody, welcome to PianoMeditation.com. Wade McNutt here. Our song today, Whom Shall I Fear? God of Angel Armies. Uh, what an amazing song and uh, just a awesome thing to reflect on to Whom Shall I Fear? Uh, if you just stop and think about that, um, you know, with God behind us, um, r really, we have nothing to fear. Uh, so keep that in your heart, keep that in your minds uh, as we travel through life. Let's start with this song and uh, the intro, uh, it's a guitar lick but I'm going to show you how to kind of emulate it on the piano. Now I'm going to show you the way they do it and I'm kind of putting the effects in with my hands. There's guitar effects going on and echoes and all that and I'll show you a simpler way to play it if this is just uh, making your brain explode. what uh, is going to be going on so let me show you I'll, I'll do it really slow it's, it's kind of what's going on here uh, and again this is the more difficult one I'll, I'll show you a simpler way to play this here in a second um, and then it's going to go up and play this A note here So two, three, four. Okay, and when it goes up here, we're gonna drop down and play this this D note here. So. And then to C in the bass, we'll just take C and G. So that's kind of the more difficult way. Uh, if you can grab that, do that because it's really cool. Here's a, a little more simple way to play it. You could just go so slow motion. That's So as long as you have that, uh, and if you didn't want to do this, that motion there, you could just simply go, we got G, D, and G here in the bass. A few different options uh, for that intro. If you're using cheat sheets, uh, the chords we're using today are G, A minor, C, E minor, and uh, D. So if you're using cheat sheets, uh, look at the chords there in the cheat sheets to see how I've lined them up on there. If you don't know what cheat sheets are, it's just a little book I created to kind of help you learn any song. So all these videos that I do goes along with one little book. Helps you start to think like a piano player, think, think like a professional, but it's, it's a real simple approach um, to it. All right, so let's start off the song. So we start off uh, with the G chord after we do our intro. And here is the G chord we're gonna play in the right hand. And please don't play like this, you wanna, uh, you know, have your hand out on the piano, nice little curve. Uh, but I'm just doing this so y'all can see. So, just a quick uh, theory, and don't let that turn your brain off. You need these three notes to uh, make a G chord, these three notes, G, B, D. I'm just going to put those in a different order, G, B, D. They call that an inversion, uh, and that way we're going to be able to play all of our chords in one place instead of jumping around the piano. So, B, D, G, in the bass, I'm going to play two G's with my pinky and thumb, and you can even put this D in there if you want to, I'll do that a lot of times. So here's uh, the first part of the verse. You 
hear me when I call. You are my morning star. So notice how I just hold with the left hand, play the rhythm with the right hand. Now we're going to move to a C chord for the next part of the verse. C, E, G, and that one's in its regular position. We're going to move to just a C and a G here. Darkness fills the night, it cannot hide the light. Uh, and then the last part of the verse is an E minor. Uh, and so we're going to uh, play B, E, G. This would be the regular notes of an E minor. We'll just take this note, put it on the bottom. Here we can put it into B if we want to. Whom shall I fear? And end with a C chord. And you may have noticed me, I played this finger with the C chord. Uh, you can do that. And it's very common in uh, pop music and Christian music to uh, add this note in when you play a chord like that. Sounds really nice. All right, continuing on with that verse, back to a G chord. Crush the enemy underneath my feet. Now to a C chord. You are my sword and shield, though troubles linger still. All right. Now let's move on uh, to the next part of the verse. So we're going to have this E minor again. Shall I to a C fear? And then we will head into our course. The course starts on an E minor. And we're going to go E minor. So you'll want to kind of memorize uh, this little thing we're doing here E minor to a D. So we're going to play A. Sharp it should be like this. I'm gonna go ahead and spread my hand out. That's hurt my hand a little bit. So it'll be E minor, then D, then we'll go and play a G. So it'll be real quick E minor, D, G. And it does that a couple times. So here we go. I know who goes before. Then we'll go to another E minor, and then we'll go to a, a C in the middle of that. The God of angel armies. Stay on that C. Is always, and then D, G. At my side. Okay, next part, E minor, and we'll do the E minor, D, G, E minor, D, G. The one who reigns forever. A friend of mine, now it's E minor C. The God of angel armies is always. So we stayed on that C and we'll go to a D on by. So is always by my and end on a G side. And we play that chorus in time. Uh, so if you've got those chords down, we can do this in time. Uh, we'll go, go a little slow and I'll try to call it out as we go. Two. Ready. And. I know who goes before me. I know who stands behind. The God of angel armies is always by my side. E minor. we head into verse 2, which will be the same chords as verse 1, uh, just different lyrics. So, into verse 2, starting with the G chord. My 
strength is in your name For you alone can save To a C chord You will deliver me Yours is the victory He goes up vocally Now to a E minor Whom shall I fear? C chord E minor C A D chord. So the end of that verse too, uh, the chords change a little uh, uh, quicker. Whom shall I fear? E minor, C to a D. And then it will go back into the chorus. I know who goes before me. I know who stands behind. Let me show you the bridge. All right, going to the bridge. The bridge will start on a C chord and go to a G chord and then our D chord here. Here we go. Nothing for not against me shall stay. minor to your promises D chord you are faith on faith let's change to G uh, sorry to C faithful you are to a D chord faithful back to C then G nothing formed against me shall couple options for a D chord. Uh, you can go to this D chord. You can even jump up to this D chord, the regular D chord if you want to, and, and play this note in there with it, like I was doing with the C. Nothing formed against me shall stand. Then back to G. I'm holding on is a G, uh, C. I'm holding on to a G chord to your E minor promises. D chord, you are to a C chord faithful. You are D faithful. You are E minor faithful. Now it's going to do a D slash F sharp. So we can play our D chord, which is the first part, D, then the slash F sharp. We play F sharp in the bass. And then go back into the chorus. So let me play that bridge section uh, through for you one more time. In time. C. on promises and C faithful to a D chord you are faithful and C G D Minor 
and you can head uh, back into the chorus. And those are the chords through Whom Shall I Fear. If you're using cheat sheets, let's talk real quick about going pro. Uh, the top left of the page is the G scale. Always important to know your scales that we can understand keys, understand what, why the chords uh, that are being played is being played. Uh, and just helps you as you're learning, start to understand what's going on. Uh, you just become a better musician. So, real simple scale for G. I call it group of three, then group of five, then group of three. Make sure and put that F sharp in there. So practice that. Make sure you can go up and down the G scale. That'll help you do a lot of cool stuff. Also, there's the pentatonic scale, which is one, two, three, five, six of the scale. So you're going to use G, A, B with thumb middle, thumb pointer middle. Then we'll jump to thumb and pointer for D and E. Pentatonic scale will help you uh, fill in some spaces in the song. Or even if you're just vamping, uh, say at the beginning, uh, maybe someone's praying. So you might just be on a G chord doing this, and you can use that pentatonic scale. Change to a C chord. So just play around with that. Try just playing a bass note, playing G, and then mess around with that scale. Then change a chord. Just introduce yourself to the idea of, of using that pentatonic uh, to fill up some space. Uh, when uh, there's not singing going on or maybe when everybody's just just praying or uh, you never know but it's just a great form of improv to use that pentatonic skill and the last thing on going pro uh, we have the Nashville numbers and thinking in numbers is another great way to take that next step uh, to becoming more professional at doing this uh, and it's really not that difficult. All you got to do is understand the scale, which we just went over. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And then we assign those numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, and that's it. You just think in numbers instead of uh, thinking in the letters. So, for example, uh, let's go to the chorus. Our first chord is E minor. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, that's a 6 chord and it's a minor. So we'll call it a 6 minor. The next chord is the D, we'll call that a 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it's a 5 major chord, so you just say 5, 6 minor, 5, and then the next chord is a G, and that's a 1, so 6 minor, 5, 1. So now, if you're thinking this way, I know who goes before me, okay? Now we can take it to another key. Let's say that's just maybe a little bit too low for you to sing uh, for the congregation. So let's change it up. Let's go to the key of A. If we understand our A scale, we'll count up to six for our six minor. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if this is going over your head, just don't worry about it. You don't have to know it now, but come back later when you're ready to take it to the next level. So we have F sharp minor. E is our five chord and A is our one chord. So six minor five one. So now we can play this song in a different key. I know who goes before me. I know who's in behind. Okay, and now we're in A. So starting to think that way, just introducing yourself to it as you play through stuff uh, will really help you uh, get to the next level. All right. Hope you enjoyed the song today. God bless you very much in your journey. Uh, please let me know if you've 
uh, being able to learn something and help out with the worship team. I love uh, seeing little uh, messages in the inbox. You can go to the website pianomeditation.com to uh, find email address to, uh, to send me a little message. Uh, much love. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.